We're upstairs at Pauline's at La Tortue. This is the upstairs suite. Ken and I just spent the night. It's uh, it's March 19th. Here's the bathroom. After our use with all our plastic and stuff. These curtains, I understand, were my grandmother's. In the days when people smoked while they sat on the toilet. There's an ashtray. Here we are, the door from the bathroom into her storage room. I've always found this interesting. This is chairs and magazines and fabrics, all sorts of stuff. And here are the scrapbooks from Trigere. In this direction, all the air conditioners that go in the building in the summer. Jugs and jars and plates and whatever stored in this space here. And then back out again. There's Ken reflected in the mirror. There's the whole room reflected in the mirror. And here we go, panning. There's the bedroom. There's Pauline's work table with her collection of letters and photo albums and stuff like that that she's sorting. This pile that's covered with a red paper is pile of papers that indicate where all her gifts of dresses have been given to which museum collection. There's Ken. Here's this famous Steinway. Never quite made it. With a letter from the John Steinway, chairman of the board. Something about her inefficient design of these <coughs> turtle shells everywhere. Oops. On the piano here. The view outdoors from the second story. There's a little house by the pool. And there's the garden. The landing going downstairs. Pauline is sorting stuff. So she's pulled everything out. But here's some Pictures, collection of stuff. Caricatures. Paintings. The staircases, pony hide, 
very slippery. Poor choice for staircases. Her photograph from the Vanity Fair article. And another one, just like it with a big smile where she looks. Like her aunt, I think. Oh, this is not going to work. Hmm. Pauline with, C with Lisa Fossa Graves. I'll take the lights off. I don't know if this is working. This is a Joe Eula sketch of Pauline. This one is a Hirschfeld. This is a very famous spot. This little stool here is where all the used and read newspapers sit. It's the kind of thing that you would not remember normally, but it was so much part of everything. <laughs> this is where it collects. The hallway. These are one of these desks that I played with as a kid. And all the tributes, pictures, and ads, tchotchkes, the other refrigerator where the M&Ms are stored. napkins used for cocktail parties, all the serving table mats, the coat closet. The staircase going up. Ground floor guest bathroom and the hall down to Pauline's bedroom and my grandmother's bedroom. Oh, here's the bell for the cottage. go downstairs in a minute. My grandmother's room as it was redesigned. Originally those closets were not there. There was a bed here, a bed there, and a view out. These doors open up. Hmm, let me see if I can focus on it. Janie, 
start to focus. Sioma and either my grandmother. This is Tante Rose. Sioma and Tante Rose. Jean-Pierre and Pauline. 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 I don't know who that is. Pauline's room. We're going downstairs. The laundry is working right now, so there's some background noise. Huh? All the geraniums. This room changes a lot. This is a little setting that I've frankly rarely seen used. This glass wall was added, the wall was taken down here. There was a room that went, there was two, bedroom, two beds in here. My father and Boone used to stay here, or I stayed here. This was the regular guest room. Whereas upstairs was for Jean-Pierre and um, Jean-Pierre and Philip. So everything here is covered with green to protect the fabric from fading because of this um, greenhouse that's added at the end. It's very strong sun. She made a sweet, charming little space here, but I've rarely seen it used. Beautiful closet doors. When I was young, I remember watching her um, wallpaper this room with a, 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 a wine red uh, toit de jouy. And uh, she stapled it onto the wall. I remember being so impressed with that. Here are all sorts of photograph albums that she's not presently sharing. Ah, this is a chair just like the one she must have given Sioma and Gun. Gun has the other one. There's a scale you have to always be careful not to hit your head on as you get up from the table. No moving the scale, mind you, it's the people who have to move. Sun is intense here. Here are different awards she's gotten. I don't know if I can focus. The sun is so strong. They're all around the room here. And here you can see where we are. We're down in this greenhouse. And the garden is up above. And down below. And there's the pool. So here's the view from outside the door of this downstairs guest room. And we'll turn back onto the house. There's the door, windows, that's Pauline's bathroom and bedroom, that's the bedroom, that's the living room windows up there. Toward the entrance there, here's the fence fairly recently put up. There's a garage in the back. There's her Japanese style garden. This is where, right here where I'm focusing now, there used to be four or five, maybe only three, huge weeping willow trees. That's what we spend our time doing, taking the leaves from the weeping willow tree out of the pool. More inside. The desk space. Check out the downstairs little bathroom. There we go. She's got her Charles Adams cartoons here that involve turtles and other cartoons. It's 
time around. This was an item that uh, I don't know quite made it. It looks like a display for the stores. See, it's the plexiglass with Trigere written on it, liquid chic. The space for each of the boxes, of the, each of the items. Here we are, this is the ground floor bathroom. I'm going to open the curtains. There we go, it's been recently redecorated. Top to bottom in green. And the towels. And the way she likes the things at the sink. <laughs> towels I gave her with her pictures never quite made it anywhere. Another door knocker. Okay, here we go into the dining room. Um, often photographed dining room. With the garden outside. There's Ken reading the paper or something. The collection of plates. Cupboard. She said she was going to give me leaves for me. There are all her plates. Oops, the pictures are quicker for me. That'll never do. There's the tables. That she discovered some coffee tables in an old Chinese restaurant. And here are part of the legs of those Chinese tables that were turned into the basis for seating. I don't know what happened to that wire rooster that's still on the table. That's funny. What to do with a neat dozens and dozens of little turtles people give me. The living room off in the distance. The bar. And the garden. Clara is vacuuming, so we're going to just in the living room. So we're just going to do the bar and a collection of glasses. I just heard yesterday that the bar in um, in the apartment in New York City is made from a doorway from Paris. Oh. Early memories. 
It's just like it's been always here. Chester magazine where Pauline got the front cover. Which is great looking. Okay, we're going outdoors now. Well, it's March. There isn't very much to look at, frankly, except the play of greens. This is the rock garden with all its play of light and play of greens. And the upper level pictures were taken right here. Or right here. Look at this tree. She lost part of it this year. And there I am reflected in the glass. There's the bar. These are all the covered outdoor furniture. Here is the um, greenhouse that was added to that little guest room downstairs. And there's the windows to the guest suite upstairs. Ah, uh, I see that Pauline has, is fighting against the deer. She's got a netting over all of these, um, well, tulips. I can't quite believe they're almost up, but there they are. And they're all covered with a net this year. A little snow down by the pool house. There's some more turtles on the rock. Oh, there's her. This this here is her white garden. All the flowers here are white. Over there is her Givernet garden. All the no no leaves here. We'll come back in the spring. All the those are the dogwood over there. Those are the rocks that were actually copied by the Levies across the street. They came and covered them with some form to get the shapes. Love to see the fake rocks over on the other side. And these are the special trees she gets as gifts for her birthday each year. All the furniture is out. The table is covered. But right here, usually, we have all this white wire and uh, metal furniture. We'll get it again in the spring. Look at the, look what's left of this apple tree. It used to be right here, a big huge tree with a swing on it when I was a kid. I'll come back and photograph the pool house. walking along the pathway, which in fact was the basis of an old road that went all the way down that way and all the way behind me. Um, this is the miraculous uh, crabapple tree that seems to be surviving despite there being almost no trunk left. There we are. This is the front.
front door to the kitchen, that is. The windows, the guest suite upstairs and the landing. This is in the attic space. This is my grandmother's room. That's Pauline's bathroom. That's the ground floor bathroom. The kitchen. And where I just came from with all the rock gardens. This rock here I used to call a ship. Actually there's more of them up there. I'm gonna take a walk up here. When I was a kid, this was something I played in. I mean, these are wonderful rocks. Huge. And she's tamed this pathway over the years. It'll give us a nice view for the gardens in a minute. The private life of children does not get recorded, of course. For some reason, I, was ma I managed to remember and pass it on to Zoe and Rachel. This was the ship right here. This rock. Don't ask me why, but this was the ship. This was it. It's wonderful, isn't it? I could have housed a sweet little house up here, I always fantasized. But now it's used for collecting leaves. I suspect burning them too. Yeah. So this is her leaf composting. And there's a house that's grown right over there. This used to be wild and unkempt when I was a kid. There's the house. There's Pauline. Huh, captured. Let's follow her. Here she comes into view. This is the vegetable garden. There's Mario on the left. She's not going in the vegetable garden because there's nothing there actually. The vegetable garden. The couch came from my apartment in New York. It is now probably, I got it in 1952, and it was black. You in got it in 1952, and it was black. Then I bought a house in 53, something like that, so I bought it here, and I changed it to the panel that you see. Tell us about how you decided how to make this room look. I, I never decided. I didn't decide it. I never had the decorator I did, but I bought this and changed it. I bought this game table at, on 6th Avenue. It's a game table, you know, like, uh, what do you call it? A jeu de key? A roulette kind of thing. Yeah. So I cut it and made that. And then when I went to Paris with Raymond Bermet, remember Raymond? Yeah. We were rue, I forgot what, on the left, left bank, and I saw this beautiful fireplace, which is really unauthentically says, or maybe we can, I guess. I don't know, but it's a, that's a real one. And I brought it here, and it took me one year and a half to get somebody to be able to put the bricks like they do in France. 
Those little bricks are Oh, bricks. at an angle. Huh? They're at an angle. Well, they are made the way they should, but nobody knew how to do that. So when I had that, and I, this, you know, when I bought the house, this was a door with a view of the toilet. I don't know if you should remember that. Th this door here was a toilet? No, it was a... a that was the end of the house here. Yeah. This was the end of the house? This, uh -huh. where the books are, was the end yeah. of the house. This was a door that got into the other, it was a hall. At the end of the hall was a toilet. So that's what, when the door was open, that's what you saw was the toilet. Mm -hmm. So I called Fred Victoria, a very a good friend of mine and a decorator. And he copied the fireplace and he made me the two doors. Well, this is antique and the doors are, well, they are now uh, 50 years or something like that, 40. But he made them for me. Uh -huh. And, and he copied them exactly. I mean, he made the same style, which is terrific. Right. And the chairs? The chairs are barber chairs. I bought them, I think I bought them in the, I forgot, not the flea market. But they are old barber chairs. They go up and down. Uh -huh. The man, when he's taller or shorter. This is, a, this is an authentic thing. I've got the papers for that one. That's this a chair here? Yeah, that's a good, a good, antique, whatever you call good. I don't know. Tell us about this vase. It's not a vase. I think this, I think I bought it at the flea market 30 years ago. They were upstairs for 20 years. And I think they were a thing to put on tombs upside down to keep the flowers on uh, people's uh, graves. I think that's what they were. How did you get it into that rock? I did not get it. I had the rock made for it. Oh, it's a fake rock? It's a rock. You know, the people who came to take the rocks from yeah. Mr. Levy. One day I said, I need some rocks, so he made them for me. He made them like, it's very, it's fiberglass. Uh -huh. And he made them, and he made the hole to fit, because yeah. it's, these are handmade or something, so oh, they are not even. Oh, you have so another made, one over here? Yeah. Right. But this is only recent. I made that, what, two years ago, that's T all. Tell us about this, this wood here in the middle. It's corkscrew. It comes from the garden. It's a tree called corkscrew. I don't know the real name in Latin. Like, I don't know any name of flowers in Latin anyway. So you put all your crystal turtles here? I put all the turtles in heaven. I should put the one for the, the, the ash tree. I should really remove because I don't think the wrong I don't think this should... I think this should disappear. So his father gave me this one. He bought it, I don't remember where. As a bag. As a matter of fact, I think Judith Lieber did that. Don't photograph this, see? It opened. Now that's a weak ass chair. I have the papers. You know what I mean? The papers? Yeah. Like, okay, I yeah. have. So is the desk. The desk is also, I've got a paper for that one too. Otherwise, whatever I bought, I bought because I like, not because... Uh, I don't think you should photograph the thing in that stage. It's terrible with that white telephone on top. It's ugly. Tell me about this little brass thing down here. The trivet? I yes. love trivets. And I'll tell you something. Every time I saw one at the flea market, I bought it, wow. and they cost me nothing. Today you go, I have a big collection of Tell me about the artwork here. You mean this your father gave me? I forgot the name of the... You have one, don't you? I have a little girl on well, a... I, I'm really good to you anyway. Tell me about the rest of the artwork. Oh, I don't Are know. these important things to you? They are important when I bought them. These I bought in China, in, in uh, Japan. The turtle, which is a godlike animal. The turtle in China and in Japan are uh, godlike animals. These are pillow. They are on silk. Well, I suppose wealthy people used to bring their children to the priest or whatever to bring the child longevity, security, sturdiness, which is the sign of the turtle. So I bought those and I framed them in those invisible things. 
Who is this? Ronald Mallory. Ronald Mallory. So what do you do to these um, these flowers? These well, that they're all red like this, Pauline. No, no, no. Some are green. No? Some are green. Well, yes. Yeah. Some are green. What did you do to them? I spray them with a sprayer. Uh, you know, a uh, paint. What do you go, what do you call it? Is this new? I don't recognize no, it's, that. No. Everything is old here. This this is called Gloria Vanderbilt. This is Pauline's dressing room. Well, if you can call that. Where is this fireplace from? From France. It's a very, very special. And it's in steel, which is very rare. Very rare. Half of it is in the wall. It's much bigger. It's a fabulous. I think it's fabulous. I bought it in about 20 minutes. And it was downstairs, down in the cellar for 10 years, 12 years before I put it in here. I didn't know what to do with it. It's a fake fireplace. Uh, Good gave it to me for my birthday. That's what she sent me. Isn't that terrific? And I, I don't know where to hang it. So in the back is you and your grandmother. And Jean-Pierre and Philippe. This is another picture of you. This one, it's not so great because he was sick already. Do you remember when they photographed that one with you and Sioma? I know that I was five years old. He must have been, uh, whatever, 13 or something. I, I have a very good picture here. The it is Karin, the, the day she graduated. Let me see. Oh. What is this? My mother and my brother. Oh, we were very young here. And this one I just found. I just, it's for New York. It doesn't go here. Oops. It's broken, my beautiful thing. I don't know. What, I'd like to have it fixed. I have this picture at home. Oh, okay. I think I got to call or something. Everything's falling apart. She looks at things as if it's the first time she's seen them. The first time she's showing us. It's curious. Oh, we got to sneak in and look. Look at this wonderful colors. And look at the order. Pauline went to answer the phone, so I went looking elsewhere. I find fascinating the way she keeps all her things for entertaining very nicely, stacked and orderly. This is in my grandmother's room. Behind the door. Magazines bound, probably by soon.